Hello Internet, I am John. Welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris 3.12 uh, Void Forged. Uh, last time, we are just building up within this territory. Um, we got uh, we got have an, an alloy habitat coming up. Um, we've done a little bit more specialization. We have some colonization coming up on uh, towards this tomb world direction, I think, in theory. Um, there have been some... I, I've lost track of my construction ships a little bit, but... Maybe maybe we put you on auto construct, or at least let's let's do you know this research station and then we can grab. Yeah, that's a pretty good system. Um, and then here, I think we'll build another hab here. This this system has a lot of like tiny bodies, and my thought here is that we we may want a dedicated unity hab at some point, um, and this would be a pretty okay place for that because we have so many little things to build minor orbitals over. So that. Um, Another thought I had had is that our uh, we're, we're making lots of alloys and lots of influence, and I'm not building habitats at like my max possible rate. And um, maybe I should be finding other uses for these alloys and these influence. So I think what we will do, I think we will start building towards um, uh, vassalization by building trust with these guys. And we we just got the discount for um, like influence. Uh, yeah, agreement influence cost. And I think also we will build up, we'll do a fleet build up, up to like 40, maybe. Because um, we have the alloys for it, and that is likely to push us towards superior fleet power, I think. Um, I'm, I'm contemplating vassalization by force here. I think, right, so my thought here is we vassalize them friendly wise. We kind of leave them alone, you know, maybe if they ask, maybe. Uh, and then these ones we could take by force or cut up or something. I don't have good intel, but what I do know is that their one starbase that I can see has... Actually, can I see further? When does Gravitic Sensors come online? Pretty soon, right? Um, yeah, quite soon. So that'll give me a little more in information, maybe? On, you know, I don't know, we'll see. Um, but, uh... And but their star bases are 217. Our star bases are 357. Part of that is going to be unyielding. Part of that might just also be better components. So, um, I, I'm. I, I don't think war with them is implausible. Um, but I don't know necessarily one do that. I was also thinking maybe we um, buy some communications. Your food system must. Your food situation must be rough, buddy. If uh, that's all it takes. Okay. All right. Um, Communications alert. No, I don't want an offensive pact. We've talked about this. But yeah, we'll do that. Okay. So, so not real contacts. Um, sadly. I wonder if they've met anybody else. Nope. Okay. Hmm. We also need to survey this system at some point, but not high priority. I think. Yeah, not much there. And just the world to the acquisition um, successful. Uh, corrupted avatar system. There's Gravitic Sensors. Um, I think I do want the Tech Drone output, and I'm not sure where... Oh, we got that from the, the archaeology site, maybe? Which is hilarious, but... Because um, we already have, like... I, I've passed up colony development speed several times. I passed it up on leader traits. Um, you know, we already have it from expansion. We already get bonuses to it from habitats. So it's like, uh, that's not useful. Um, what was I saying? Was it technology related? Right, so this this energy energy credits from tech drones. This, um, right now we have this energy world and our drones here aren't very productive because of the habitability output penalty in part. Um, so we're at minus 40% from uh, it being a planet and plus, you know, 35%. So, so net 110%, so 20% of that, it, it's, this is actually like, the percentage boosts here are more impactful than they usually would be because we have these percentage penalties. 
is kind of my thinking. Um, but also, if we generate a bunch of extra energy, we can dump it into, you know, technology or unity or... Yeah, so... Okay, they're they're recovering again, I think. So it's gonna be a while on vacillation with them. I wonder if we just got more intel extraction, complete. and that's why that happened. We'll have to uh, fix that. That falling behind on economy. Um, I mean, not not falling behind behind, right? Just losing our lead a little bit, maybe. Um, I probably don't need the grid yet. I really don't want to do replicator jobs. It's pretty funny. It's going to Crumbling Burrow. I think is that that's that the small one. It is. Yeah. 24, 22, but lots of energy. Sixteen minerals. Twenty-three uh, habitability penalties, but we don't care. Because it's always gonna be fifty percent for us, because it's zero percent, and then we, we're just using the floor, so. Um Size 25 Tundra World is probably the, well, but the districts are terrible. I guess my concern right now is that I'm not necessarily building jobs on the habitats fast enough for Construction it complete. to really be useful to be having lots of pop assembly stuff on um, terrestrial worlds. But I don't know. You know, it, uh, having too much pop assembly is a pretty good problem to have. So maybe we should just just do it. Just grab a couple more. Oh, that's gonna be two secundises, but oh well. Construction complete. Maybe I need a second shipyard. Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Technological acquisition successful. Mm, there's energy credits. FTL inhibitors, kind of good for sitting behind star bases. It's their fleet, 17, 15, 1705. Okay, so we're at like, yeah. Okay, so they, they have met some other people. They just wouldn't share their contacts with us correctly. Let's try this again. Okay, so we got materialist, xenophile, pacifists. All right, we can certainly get along with them. Uh, materialist, xenophile, pacifists. This this looks like a uh, a federation start, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. Communications alert. I, it wouldn't surprise me if these guys tried to join that federation. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. We can we can just do some migration to the well. I mean, yeah, we should that and then 
Um, getting getting more science here would actually be pretty useful. And major orbitals take a long time. How do I do monthly? Sell food. I think it's like 13 is what you can do without it shifting the price. I mean, sure, we're at the point where we're not in a hurry to survey. We can do anomalies. Technological acquisition successful. Terraforming, um, battle frame, advanced war android. Oh, did they change machine armies? Hmm. Starbase cap isn't super useful to us right now, in as much as we don't have like the upgrades. Um, that would unblock some modes, but not much else. We could do armies, especially if we're contemplating a war of, of vassalization here. What is this? Oh, this is the like future research from the future. Um, I don't really, I'm not really influence constrained right now. Um, I don't really want the unity penalty, but it will be okay, I guess. Alert. Mm, I don't think so. Communications alert. Interesting. Um, That's a situation I can work with, and then we will, you know, gradually tighten up on that. But I am curious to see whether... I know these two, like, don't get along well, and I think they share a border, but I'm not seeing, like, claims here, so maybe it won't cause too much trouble if we vassalize them. Standard space entity encountered. Upkeep, complex turn output. Um, yeah. Okay, so here we have one of these two worlds. And we will turn off Hunter Seeker. And that's okay, he'll sit there until we get some more jobs. Communications alert. Okay. Okay, so we we don't technically have fifty trust with them, but we can wait a month, and then it should. I mean, what what terms were they going to give us? Regulated, prohibited. Um, I don't reg that that's that's uh that'll cause a little little more loyalty trouble than I want. Okay, and then we'll put you back on. Um... Although I do kind of want to get that done. Uh, the, the catlings before they turn into a real empire. Yeah, we'll just let this tick over on the month and then we'll subjugate them.
And I think we could even, um, we, I think we, we got holding limit, so we could even put a, if we wanted to accelerate um, loyalty growth. We have this food, right? Let's, let's use it. Alert, non-standard space entity encountered. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be fine loyalty wise. Um, I I was I was reading some things that like the AI may not really be building stuff properly this patch, and I was just curious to like go poke around now that we have access to some AI planets. But this doesn't look crazy bad. This looks like just kind of regular bad. Um, yeah. Okay. What about these guys? Okay. Yeah. That looks reasonable for trade and it's a lot of more unity than I'm used to seeing. I'm used to seeing like stuff things full of labs, so. Um, he's got 1700, he's got, yeah. We taking the, uh, okay, we have very positive relations. I'm just like, how, how about that uh, vassal, vassal strength penalty, but it, I think it'll be fine. Technological acquisition successful. Okay, so this is growth node. Um, hitting level five, so we have some other options now. Veteran traits. Terraforming focus. Interesting. This is just more colonization stuff. I don't know. And we could, we could. It's a pr relatively small upgrade to unity output. We can do terraforming focus. That it's going to be a long time before it's useful. Um, Maybe, but there might be further upgrades on it, right? If there's like a level two, level three version. Uh, star holds would be pretty good. We could build stuff a lot more. Um, uh, what you call um, solar panels, and we could start doing anchorages. I don't think I have naval logistics offices yet, though. So. Council agenda ready. Okay, so we have we have jobs. They're just not not quite migrated yet. Do I have something good that I want to fire after um, amenities? When does the Unity one come back online? Pretty soon. We'll do that one. The prosperity one might be okay. It's for for a many planets empire, big capital bonuses are not the best. Although our capital is fairly productive. Okay, so that's that's another layer of um, science stuff we can build here, and we could also thinking about think about um, like research labs, or we might need. Sentinel posts at some point. We'll see. We could swap that to research labs too. But we're not, we don't, don't it's not a problem we have yet. Mineral income's falling a little bit. Maybe we'll build a little bit of that. Any any interesting anything interesting from uh, gravitic sensors right here? I don't think so. Maybe I should have gotten cloaking. You can go poke around in there and gather some intel. Technological acquisition successful. Um, we could do moats. Moats would be okay of that selection. Okay, so there's the, that ends the catlings, and I think now they won't go start their own empire. Um, and then we'll switch him back to. Unity Hab. Planetary Settlement Procedure Initiated. 
Several idle construction ships. Um, hmm. How many habs do I want? When do I switch to orbitals? What, uh, what? How much is this? 30k is a lot. Um, is there somewhere to build, like, a good next science hab? I guess anywhere with lots of building slots, we could just stuff full of uh, science. Is that a single four deposit? It is a single four deposit. Is it on the star? It is on the star. Maybe that'd be a, a good uh, Dyson Swarm as well. Um... Yeah, not a whole lot of good science deposits. Oh, for, for engineering on a star. Hmm. I need to actually draw a Dyson Swarm before I... Playing too hard on that. Um, yeah, maybe we just expand uh, expand the capital a little bit. For for lack of a somewhere else to expand science production, really, besides... Um, we, we could do a little more here, but we're... Not a whole lot. We're gonna start running into problems with um, just their max districts, right? I think we, yeah, we can build three more. We'll probably get, um, yeah, I guess we could do all three and then, uh, yeah, and then the crime building maybe. Or we just start looking for systems that have lots of, um, like, minor bodies to build buildings in. Do we have any, like, trinaries? I don't think we do. I think we got a lot of single stars. Yeah. So, I'm, um, hmm. Hmm. Not the best luck for Void Dwellers. Or we start building uh, Tundra Adapted Dudes and take advantage of this science bonus. That might be the play here. Whoa! Okay, and I can keep the Void Dweller trait even though I'm switching the habitability over. You can't do that with organic void dwellers. You have to remove this before you can change the habitability. So that's interesting. Um, what, what? Planetary settlement procedure initiated. Oh, has our... Interesting. I wonder if if he's. I think. Okay, so say, maybe science ship automation is prioritizing the lowest level anomalies as well. Because he's not prioritizing the closest ones. He's going to this class two over here when there's a seven or eight. Construction here. complete. So that's interesting. Agenda available. Okay, so that's the Unity one. I thought. Yeah. Technological acquisition successful. Um, even more naval capacity. Or we could clear up some of these modes. Uh, do, where, um, yeah, there's there's a thing, supposedly. Right, yeah, so if you hover over the picture, it'll tell you how many of a particular block you have. So we have three jungles and two mountains. It doesn't tell us where or what, or what it's blocking. Um, it's the swamp that's blocking the moats. We, sh we shouldn't do jungle. We definitely should. Yeah, let's, let's just get more naval cap. That's never bad.
in our space? No, of course not. We're not allowed to have archaeology sites. This is probably Marauders, maybe? That's very symmetrical, though. This could be... Uh, I don't know if the... What? Okay, I don't know what this is. Hmm. New content? They're at war with someone. You guys need any food? Hive mind. Um, not clearly devouring swarm. Xenophile authoritarian. Okay. Uh, these guys should be easy to get along with. Good, good lord. Okay. Um, so that still doesn't. Okay, so it's is this are these guys like a one system hive mind or something? That I'm I'm just confused. Okay. So beliefs. Hmm. Okay, so they're trying to like impose their beliefs on the Megacorp or something. Um, this looks like a hegemony spawn. Yeah, authoritarian materialist hegemony kind of thing. I, I let's, let's like the fine trying to. Okay, these are an FE. There's the Carabineers. Yeah, okay, we'll just pick one of you guys. Maybe a Xenophile. Um, and ask them about communications. You know, I don't actually know if spiritualists don't get along with machines anymore. It's an interesting question. Construction complete. So they're they're kind of aligned with the hegemony rather than with the federation. We still don't know much about their status, or, or I don't know if they've met any anyone else. Okay, they have closed borders with some people, but oh, they've claimed their systems. I don't remember getting a warning about that. Yeah, okay. Not really surprising, but, um... Let's just establish all the embassies that people will let us. Where should I build the next habitat? Or not. Um, yeah, these systems are all pretty pretty empty. This one at least has a lot of stuff in it. I don't know that we need... You know, so it's like three planets and five asteroids or something? It's a lot of planets. It'd be okay for industry, maybe. Much. Well, it has some it has some decent moons. This might be our best bet, actually, for, like, number of asteroids and things. It's 
to the left. Okay, he's building that. Yeah, let, let's just let's just get the system. That's fine. So I guess he's we're, we're finally starting a precursor anomalies. soon. Nobody likes the Husko. Planetary surface settlement established. That's gonna get annoying. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just do that and that for now. Successful. Um, this is our other scientist, and yeah, again, we're, we're I think we're gonna need more governor than uh, like anomaly discovery. That's a range. I mean, maybe for gathering intel or something, but yeah, it's not. I, eventually, we'll need to do the rubricator, and that will require some archaeology, but it's not much. Arc furnace. Um, do I actually have a use for the arc furnace? Uh, you know, I wanted to see how the Arc Furnace plays with habitats, because putting a deposit on every body in a system could potentially make for a lot of max mining districts. I don't know if it'll actually be good, I don't know if I have a, a situation here where I really want to go apply that, but I'm just kind of curious to see what happens. And we don't have to upgrade it very far for that to, to work, right? We just need to build, like, the base level. This is Carabineers, probably. Yeah. And that's annoying, but I, I didn't realize that one's in the uh, Frontier Sector. Okay, what do, what do we get for this orbital? A building slot from a major, somehow. Um, right, right, right. If you when you build empty, um, when you build orbitals on empty things, you get fractional building slots, even if they are large bodies that also give fractional districts. Um, we could do some refining. We don't really have a use for gas yet. I mean, uh, upgraded energy grids would be okay. We don't really need upgraded labs right at this moment because we're building uh, habitat uh, lab districts. Um, we're out of housing. Mm. Yeah, let's just keep building, keep building levels.
Construction complete. Okay, so we have a little bit of relative power of subjects penalty, but not much. Sorry, with who? Okay, that's fine. They're not like spiritualists or anything. Um, we probably want Galactic Market, or, um, Industrial Development would be pretty good for us, because we're already, like, running at floor everywhere. Um, Habitability Floor, I mean. Where is Galactic Market? Well, if I can't find it, we'll do something else. It's fine. Communications alert. Technological acquisition successful. And then there's the Dyson Swarm. Um, versus point defense? Yeah, sure, we can do that. Cool, so we will get to play with the, the mini structures. Construction complete. Oh, and that opens up all of our, our uh, moat deposits. Um, actually, yeah, let's let's put you on. Those mining stations. Planetary surface settlement established. We wanted to do unity here, I think. Is that reasonable? Minor orbitals 14. Wow, yeah, okay. So we can we can totally make building cap here just on orbitals. That's cool. Um, habitation, simulation, support, that. I'm happy to see that pass. Communications alert. I think, I, I mean, I guess I'm okay with having my vassals associated with federations. Technological oh, I wanted, I wanted acquisition successful. So there, I mean, c can we associate? They, they would, they would associate with us, but we need more trust. How do we get trust with um, Federation guys? Because I usually do... Um, Non-aggression pacts. I mean, I guess it has to be Research Association, right? Because I... How do we get to... Pos I mean, we're, we're just improve relations for a little bit. Didn't I just allocate a guy to do something weird? Okay, first contact. Um, Nav cap, colonial centralization is pretty good. That would unblock some moats. This would unblock some more uh, solar panels. But uh, we should we should actually upgrade our. Let's start with the um, the border ones.
situation log adjusted. Okay, okay, right. We wanted, we were trying to get a research agreement with them anyway to, um, to get, build trust to get association. So, if the guys that we want a research agreement are, okay, these are, they're just entering with other NPCs. I thought it was an offer. Am I still paying upkeep on, um... I'm not it, on on my uh, non-aggression pacts with my vessels. Yeah, your rivals with the Federation that I want to potentially enter and take over. Void clouds. Some of these had moats, right? Doorway on one of these team worlds. That's Situation not the best place for it. Adjusted. Alert. Our energy is falling a little. Right, so these were the ones we wanted that to build trust with anyway. So, yeah, I guess we do that. Generally, I don't love research agreements, but... Mm. Science bonuses. Right, so the war philosophy thing, we can fix that. We can just flip it temporarily. Um, yeah, so I would, and, and we have no no distance penalty like we did last time. Oh, they're at war. Construction complete. Orbitals, shipyards. We don't have transit hubs yet, do we? No, we don't. This is the one that actually counts, right? Yeah, okay. Brackets. Okay, and that frees up um, an envoy. Situation log adjusted. I guess we're getting intel from uh, 
galactic community now, maybe. Is it like actually equivalent or just kind of equivalent? It's the interesting question. Maybe we can go back to improve relations. Right, so these guys are at war with the Federation. Oh, two, two empires with the same portrait. Who... Is it the same species? Their species is... Okay, but it's... Yeah, right, it's, it's... They're actually foxes are their main species and not the lizard men. Yeah, we'll just we'll just stick them on the vessel and keep their relations. I like race taxes. Yeah, is that a thing I can do? Okay, so they're at plus. They'll they'll take an 0.7 point loyalty per month hit. And they're currently at plus 5.1 per month, so we can totally, totally handle that. Oh, or, or less, yeah. Okay. Oh. Unacceptable. Too much research lost. Interesting. Maybe they changed how they uh, do the math. Minus one, so close. What else can we give them? I don't want to offer subsidies. I think they'll by and large vote the way that we want them to. So I'm not super concerned about independent, independent diplomacy. And then maybe later, once they've kind of gotten used to that, we can switch it over. How much science is that actually? I should should have checked that beforehand. Yeah, like 50? Okay, not too bad. Construction complete. Let's get you in position for what's... Uh, 13 months is not that long. I don't necessarily want to build a Dyson Swarm right away. Where was the one with the engineering deposit on the star? Let's move you there. Um, and you're going nowhere. Let's move you up here. I don't actually know how much uh, alloy I will need for um, Dyson Swarms. Technological acquisition successful. Mega forges are pretty good. At some point, we should get destroyers 
to like, you know, unblock cruisers, for example. Right, you went at cab. I want you to be Unity. I don't think he'll migrate off before it finishes. So we have another district slot here. Um, right, we're going to have housing issues. Maybe we can just keep growing unity, I guess, with it. And then here I wanted to send uh, to build minor orbitals. That's a lot. A lot of options. Communications alert. So there's Dyson Swarms. Um, these are both pretty good. Transit hubs would be nice to speed up our internal migration, and we're not planning to go to war imminently. Uh, influence and Envoy is pretty good. I think Bureaucracy might unblock some other stuff as well. I'm not sure though. It's fine. We're not really influence constrained. We're not really envoys constrained. Like, we, you know, we could... Okay, so that's... Uh... Mostly... Um... Construction complete. I feel like I don't have a good handle on just how many pops I'm building and how quickly I need to build jobs. It's a little frustrating. exactly the upgrade is, but we'll take it. Okay, Vangrelia Tram. Um, no. Technological acquisition successful. Mega Forges, Ion Thrusters. This will want for orbital rings eventually, um, but it's not super important right now. Uh, and it's industry, so we'll probably draw it again. Um, hmm. We do have housing problems, though. Yeah, okay. Right, let's, uh, let's put down some Dyson Swarms. A thousand unity. Oh, the timing here, though. Because when I finish Prosperity, we can get Synthetic Age and start the situation. So... 
Um, and a thousand unity is like three months. So we, we the, yeah, it's a question of which do we start first. Uh, the situation is going to take a really long time. Do we? What's the uh, the build time on a Dyson Swarm? Three years ish. That's a tough call. Um, I think maybe we do wait on the swarms to get the transformation situation started sooner. Ship augmentations completed. Not much of an upgrade. Situation log adjusted. Construction complete. How do you have overcrowding? This is our main leader, more unity, resources from jobs globally, building cost, district cost, build speed globally. Um, global build speed, I kind of like. Okay, so there's an orbital here for more building slots. Let's, uh, let's just keep building. Little lot building miners here. Council agenda ready. Okay, here we go. So that's finishes prosperity and gets us synthetic age, which will start this transformation situation. And then I don't know how long this will take. This is um Okay, at the default rate, it's 100 months is 8 years. I don't necessarily think I want to be hurting my unity output more than that. So if, if we did plus 20%, it'd be 12 per month. 1,000 over 12 is 80 months instead of 100 months is 7 years. So it saves like a year. I think. And if we did nothing, and we got eight per month, 120 months uh, is 10 years. Yeah, I think I think just this middle course is fine. And then we can use that unity for uh, swarms, Dyson swarms and whatnot. Situation log adjusted. That's a while. It's like 10 years. I might want another construction ship anyway. Nanites. Um, so if I'm planning to go modularity, I don't think the nanite thing is super important. The deal with these these three, there's like three phases, and each one you get one of these options, and you can sacrifice some research, and at the end it gives you a deposit on your capital, I think, or homeworld or something like that. And the nanites one gives you the nanites like resource. Um, the modularity one gives you liquid metal and the virtuality one gives you dark matter. And I think I want dark matter and I want living metal. And I don't think that the nanotech one is going to be super useful to us. We'll just do a little bit. Okay, so I have enough to start a Dyson Swarm. Let's. Oh. I misclick. Can I not build a Dyson Swarm here? Black holes neutrons. Okay, no, no black Dyson Swarms on pulsars. So that's very sad. Uh, but hopefully we can still build one here. And get a bunch of energy out of it that we can then feed into science or something. Um, there might have been some that had. Um. I think there, there was one over here that had a good physics deposit. 
Yeah, okay, so we could build one here. We just need the Unity. Let's send you there and send you here to do that research project. Okay, so we are at time. Um, we, we got the new Machine Age stuff kicked off. We're starting some Dyson Swarms. Um, we have plenty of pop assembly running and we're working on maybe weaseling our way into this uh, federation. The modifier is getting smaller. Right at this point, it's it's mostly a question of um, wars of aggression. Maybe I should work on the other two guys too, though. I seen, oh, they have a mega structure. Do we know which one? Okay, interesting. It's, it's kind of hard to read this. Rukarian, Nisian, Shantarian. What? But there are no planets for the Rukarians. Just confusing. Who all is in your federation? So we have distance penalties with them, but not with the Thanesians? Yeah. Hmm. We can improve relations with one of them, though. Oh, it's Thanesians on both sides here. Um, and then, that's the Husko. That's the Sh yeah. Superior fleet. Interesting. covers most of the things I wanted to get done. Yeah, so uh, this is coming along. We picked up some vessels. Um, oh, we should tax these ones as well. And they will accept those taxes. How far could we go? before they... I mean, I don't want to tax them so hard they get rebellions, though, because that's a pain in the ass. Just a little bit. Okay. Alright. Thank you for watching.